Hey, welcome to Slay the Spire. Today we're playing the Daily Challenge for April 28th, 2024. The character of the Silent and the modifiers are Heirloom, start with one rare relic. Blue cards, blue cards, non perm rewards and shops. In Big Game Hunter, lead enemies are now swarming the Spire and drop better rewards. I see a bunch of familiar names here. Vorpal with 1631, Sita with 1573, and I am playing a little earlier than I did yesterday. It's going to be back at my regular schedule going forward. And then, um, yeah, Rare Relic, I will also, all the elites will only drop rare cards, which means Popra is going probably to be very difficult. All right, green and blue cards, you start with old coin, up and pick up, gain 300 gold. That might make an early shop enticing. There's a five elite path on the left. Yeah, no other five elite paths, just four elite path. Actually, if I want to avoid all the elites, there is a one elite path. Oh, and actually, there is a zero elite path. If we go in the middle, just avoid all the elites like a ninja. But yeah, no, let's go for the five elite path. Uh, no guaranteed shop. Also, curses might be really difficult, but I'll, I'll still take them. There's a, still a small chance. I think the last big game I had to run, I was able to get curses. All right, let's start off with um, just uh, neutralize survivor and then double the, double strike. Mm -hmm. All right, another seven. Um, let's follow defend here. No, no reason to lose HP. Who's my final boss, by the way? Guardian. Okay, so I will need to pick up some good defensive cards. Mm -hmm. And then here I need to defend against eight. Yeah, fine. Let's still double defend. I'm just dealing damage somewhat slowly. Not being attacked here and only getting two strikes, but at least two more strikes should allow me to kill next turn. Strike one, strike two. Beautiful. All right. Slice cold snap recursion. I mean, this would give me a frost orb. That is not a bad idea. Recursion would be useless in slice. I mean, cold snap is better than slice, I think. So here I can neutralize you. Can I kill this one with 18 damage? Yes, I think I can, but then I won't take... I think it's better than to defend against. Yeah, let's just do cold snap, strike, and another strike. Okay. So I'll take three damage this way. Otherwise, I would have had to... Well, otherwise, the run would have taken much longer, I'm sure. Hmm. And then another. I guess I could have saved those three uh, HP. It's fine. It's fine. Stack Bane or Beam Cell. Beam Cell is tempting. I don't think Bane can work. And Stack is not going to be useful for some time. So let's take the Beam Cell. And here I got my first Curse Injury as well as the Gold Idol. And we stroke 25% more gold. Okay. And the Cultist here. Let's play all the attacks in the turn I don't get attacked. All right. Another six, Beam Cell, Cold Snap, Strike. Let's do one defend here, although another strike would have allowed me to kill, but two more strikes would be enough. No, all right. I guess I'll just defend here. Okay. And then I still need two strikes. Yeah, beautiful. All right, Stack, Reinforced Body, Leap. Another Stack Opportunity. I think Reinforced Body might be better at the moment, and then I can hopefully pick up a Stack a little later on. All right, curse number two, although this pain curse is going to be annoying, but let's take it. We also got warp tongues at the start of your turn. Upgrade a random card in your hand for the rest of combat. That's really nice. All right, so Gremon Knob. Okay, well, I might as well get rid of the pain to avoid losing too much HP. I don't have any potions or anything else to help me, right? So I think this one is going to be a hard perfect. There's a reinforced body, but no, no. I think even if I play the reinforced body, there's no chance I can perfect. So let's just try my best here. Um, I still don't want to play the defend because I don't want to give the enemy extra strength. 21, yeah. Even if I was able to defend up until this point, this is the fight where I w wouldn't be able to. I will play a defend here, okay? Because I don't need much to kill. 24, beam cell and strike, yeah. All right. No chance of perfecting at all. We got ornamental fan. Every time play three attacks in a single turn, gain four block. That's actually really nice. Multicast after image or fission. Does this work? Does this deck fit an after image deck? I don't have any shivs. And I only have two zero cost cards. I definitely like it more than the other two. Let's take the after image. I might consider upgrading that too. All right, slaver. Here, let's do beam cell, neutralize, strike. Um, actually, a reinforced body is enough, right? A one energy reinforced body, I mean. Okay. Another eight, cold snap, strike, and defend. Okay. And then here, I should be able to kill. Good. Got a colorless potion, streamlined fusion, or stag discharge. I just realized this is the first potion I'm getting, right? That's a little disappointing. First potion on floor seven. Stag like discharge, streamline, or fusion. Fusion is interesting, but a little expensive to play. I think streamline might be a good damage card. All right, sentries. This also, I think, I have low chance of perfecting. Although, with an after image, I might be able to increase the chances. Let's do neutralize. And then strike. And then a reinforced body is enough. Okay. Yeah, I need 18 block next turn, which seems very unlikely for me to be able to pull that off. Uh, let's actually, if I do beam cell and streamline, 
No, unfortunately, that's not enough, right? I would have to also play a strike, and then I won't have energy. Let me just see if the Colors Potion gives me something good. A Swift Strike. That might be enough. So if I do Swift Strike here, then Streamline. Kills this one, and then I can... Um, I have to play a Defender Strike alone won't be enough. Okay. With the After Image, I just have to play a few cards. Um, actually, wait. If I do three Strikes, that's four plus three, seven. That's still not enough, so I have to play the Survivor, unfortunately. And then next turn, I should be able to defend. So let's double strike this one. Okay. And then with the cold snap, that might help too. The frost orb, right? Okay. Uh, get rid of the survivor. Might as well avoid taking damage from the pain. Then do cold snap. And uh, yeah, might as well play these. Okay. So I, need, I need to play... Well, it's going to be hard. Okay, hang on. I can kill this one, right? I can also defend fully. Yeah, so let's do defend and then target the backliner. Because I'm fully defended here, it's, there's no urgency to killing this one. I was worried about this, but so far so good. Okay. I have four beasts out of 12 cards. What are the odds of me being able to draw the right thing? I got lucky here. And again, I can fully defend. So let's do defend, beam cell, and then two strikes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right, a backliner is easily killed with a streamline. That's exactly why I was targeting it. Because I, if I hadn't targeted it before, I was no, there was no way I would have been able to perfect this one. And here I can kill. Beautiful. All right, that colorless potion was worth it. Got me the perfect Ugat Kunai. Every time I play three attacks in a single turn, gain one dexterity. So as a distal chaos potion and malaise is really good. Echo form might be nice, but malaise will immediately help me against the upcoming boss fight. I'm taking the right path, right? Yeah, three more elites coming up. Yeah, I got Pocket Watch. One of you play three or less cards during your turn. Draw three additional cards at the start of your next turn, which is great. And then Lag of Wound here. I just want to wait for a big malaise, right? Uh, I could do Cold Snap. It wouldn't wake the enemy up and gives me a Frost Orb. Okay. All right, extra car, uh, card draw here. I think I'll just do After Image, nothing else. Okay. I'm really hoping for that malaise. Actually, it's guaranteed to show up, right? Yeah, so let's do malaise. And then uh, Beam Cell, unfortunately, doesn't do anything, but might as well. So now 11 incoming. Um, yes, I can fully defend against that. Let's do neutralize, cold snap. Actually, 7, yeah. If I play two more strikes with the um, ornament of fan, I'll be able to fully defend there. And I get extra decks. Mm -hmm. Another 11. Oh, yeah. I need it. Let me see what the distal kills potion plays. Strike, survivor, get rid of the pain. Good. And then defend. Okay, that allows me to be fully defended. Let's do streamline and the upgraded strike. Mm hmm. Just need 39. Strike, cold snap, and wait for the pocket watch to give me something amazing. Ooh, 21 might be a challenge. And never mind, not with Streamline. Beautiful. Perfect. This one also thanks to that potion. We got Happy Fire every three turns, get extra energy, a blessing of the forge, and definitely not Amplify, right? At this point, it's just the after image I have as a power. Storm of Steel might be interesting. Would trigger Kunai and Ornamented Fan. Doppelganger is nice too, but I think I'll take the Storm of Steel. All right, got the Fanga Beast here. I could start with Storm of Steel here, right? That would allow me to gain a bunch of block too. Actually, no, let's do Streamline first and then do Storm of Steel. This pain is a little annoying. I am taking a bunch of damage to it. Um, I'll be able to get 8 block, right? Although, probably shouldn't kill the Backliner. Yeah, let's just do this. Okay. That way I can easily kill the Backliner when I need to. Mm -hmm. Like this turn. Although, I could also do... Here, let's do Defend, Strike, and Malaise. Okay. And then here I should be able to just kill with a strike each. Good. Got a regen potion, which is actually nice with that uh, pain. I might re uh, get some of my health back. Definitely not barrage. Between Sucker Punch and Setup, I don't think I really need Setup. Let's take the Sucker Punch for an extra turn of weakness. Hmm. From a knob again. This is slightly better. And I got the Streamline upgraded. I could also upgrade the Neutralize, but no, let's try it. Let me drink the regen potion now. Let's do Beam Cell, Streamline, Neutralize, and Strike. Mm, this is still going to be a challenge to perfect, right? 14 incoming. Survivor alone is not enough. If I do after image, then survivor. Yeah, there's nothing I can do, right? If I play the defend, that's going to be 16, 17, but I'll be attacked by 18. So I can only perfect if I upgrade this, and then I don't think I really stand a chance of perfecting. So let's save the potions. Okay. Another 16. Yeah, I don't think I really stood a chance here. Let's do cold snap, strike. And then Storm of Steel. Okay, maybe I... Actually, I did stand a chance here, huh? Yeah, fine, let's kill. That's a bummer. I think with using my potions, I would have been able to protect this one. We got Frozen Egg, one of you add a power card into your deck, upgraded. And Venom. That's interesting. 
I already have a Malaise. I'm probably going to go for Highlander. Between Burst and, and Venom. I mean, Burst is nice. Venom might be really good too. Let's take it. I'm not really going for a Poison deck, but I do have some Shivs. Okay, so Orange Pellets is really good if I get Wraith Form. So let's take it. One of you play Power, Attack, and Skill in the same turn. Remove all a few debuffs. I don't think I really need Panache, although it is a power. Do I want White to be Statue? I mean, it's a little disappointing how few um, potions I've gotten so far. It is expensive. And with Big Game Hunter, I'm guaranteed to get Alex Shiny, so I don't need to buy Relics. Let's instead focus on cards. Yeah, let's take White Noise. Mm, Dramatic Entrance is expensive too. I think I'll do the Panache. It might be worth it. Let's take the Panache. Deflect is good. And then let's also buy a Weakness Potion and a Colors Potion. Yeah, I don't have faith that I'll get a potion in this fight. Um, so let's just make sure I have some potions on hand. Alright, so here let's do Panache, After Image, Neutralize this one. Hang on, let's do Venom. And then if I neutralize this one, it'll be 6. No, I think. And I can play 3 attacks, right? 1, 2, 3. So I'll be 4. Yeah, so I think I'll do... could also just do Defend, right? No, let's gain extra deck. So I think I'll do Beam Cell, Neutralize, and then a Strike. Okay. Alright, Panache was actually really useful there. Mm -hmm. But I'm not sure if I'll be able to trigger it more often than that. Alright, 18. Yeah, there's nothing I can do here, right? Um, so I can I can kill one of them, but nothing I can do about the other one. So, fine. Let's just do Streamline and... It uh, doesn't matter which strike. The strike. And then, um, yeah, I guess, I guess I'll wait. Yeah, I think... I mean, I could use a potion, but I'd rather save the potions for the boss fight. Okay. Alright, so here I could do Storm of Steel. Let's do... Um, Cold Snap, Sucker Punch, and then Storm of Steel. Okay. okay. Alright. Okay, didn't perfect this one. We got I got Sundial. Every three times you shuffle draw pile, gain extra energy. Wraith Form, yeah, I have to take this. Especially with the orange pellets, I think Wraith Form would be really good. I might wait, no, the Wraith Form was already upgraded because it's a power. Should I upgrade the after image? No, I should definitely upgrade the Malaise first. Yeah, good Malaise on the upcoming boss would be very helpful. And also, I didn't get a potion after the last fight. Uh, let's do Panache. White Noise gives me Noxious Fumes. Sure. I think I'll just do Streamline. Considering upgrading it. But no, let's just do Streamline here. Okay. I will need 26 damage. That might be a challenge. Or I could just do Wraith Form. Wait, that's a power. And then I still need to play another power uh, skill and attack. Uh, wait, if I do Wraith Form, I won't be able to defend... Uh, that's not good. What if I do two strikes? That's 12 plus another 12. That's 24. I need exactly 24. Yeah, fine. Let's do that. So strike, strike, storm of steel, and then two shifts. Okay. Nine incoming. There's a malaise. Unfortunately, I also have to play the survivor, right? Um, yes, let's do survivor. I do cold snap. Would allow me to be filled dependent once I get the wraith form, right? No, I think, I think it's more important to do a big malaise, especially next turn. That way I'll only have six incoming. And I can f fully defend with the defend thanks to end and deflect, I guess. Yeah, let's do defend, deflect. And then if I play three more attacks, I'll take nine damage but gain four back. So that's five less. That would allow me to be fully defended. So let's do beam cell, neutralize, and sucker punch. Uh, three plus four is six, yes. And also that applies extra turns of uh, weakness. Yeah, I can't do any more attacks, though. Okay. All right, zero incoming here, which is convenient. Um, I think I'll just do strike and neutralize. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And then here, I could do Wraith Form, but I don't think I need to. Storm of Steel might be much better. Yeah, let's do Streamline, Strike, and then Storm of Steel. That will hopefully give me a bunch of decks. Okay. I haven't played the Venom yet. That's something I should try to do. Three incoming. Let's do Survivor, Hold Snap, and a Strike. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then another six. Yeah, finally able to play the After Image here. Let's do that. Let's do After Image. Uh, wait, if I do Cold Snap, I'll gain the block first, right? I'm pretty sure that's the case. If I do Cold Snap, I'll get seven minus three. That's four. With After Image, that's five. And then Venom will be six. I think that should be enough. So I can't play the Venom first. I really hope I didn't miscalculate that. 4 plus 2 is 6. Yes, beautiful. I can't play the meme cell, though. Okay. Yeah, the malaise helped me. Without the malaise, I think I would be in so much trouble. But with the malaise, um, I think I'll do strike and then storm of steel. Okay. 
and then a venom should allow me to kill with the poison beautiful all right perfect this one very happy with that speed potion i don't think it's super necessary although with the orange pellets i can keep that permanent dex uh here let's take the buffer you know what let me take the speed potion over the blessing of the forge okay and then here i don't think i need hovering kite or i don't have any way to discard other than the uh, survivor and i guess storm of steel but that doesn't really require energy I don't think I need empty cage. Do I want tiny house? It would give me five max HP. Might allow me to get extra, extra points from that. Let's take tiny house just because I don't think I need hovering kite that badly. So tiny house, I can pick up between one potion, gain fifty gold, raise your max HP by five, obtain one card, and upgrade one random card. Got the white nose upgrade, a uh, fear potion which I don't think I need, and I already have this one. This is useless. Let's take the FTL. Hmm. All right, bronze automaton. I did just pick up an upgrade buffer, right? So that might help against that. One, two, three, four. Oof, no five lead paths this time. That's a bummer. Yeah, only four on the left and four on the right. So if I go in the left, I'll get one, two, three, four, five crush mark rooms. If I go in the middle, I'll get one, two, three. Then a fourth one if I go this way. And that's it, right? Yeah, wait, left side had five, right? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so let's go on the left. Get five crush mark rooms and four leads. Alright, Spirit Guardian, uh, let's do Cold Snap, Strike, and then Storm of Steel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Kunai and uh, Ornamental Fan together are pretty good. Another 10. Um, I could just do Buffer here, right? Won't be able to play the Streamline, though, but I think that's fine. Mm -hmm. Alright, so losing one Buffer here. I should be able... Actually, I could also just do uh, Wraith Form. Um, yeah, let's do Wraith Form. Then... Um, I, I guess I could do Malaise. Yeah. And then let's do Panache. I guess I didn't need to... Yeah, I should have done a zero-cost Malaise. That was silly. We said energy for no reason there. White Noise gives me Storm. If I do a skill and attack in the same turn... Uh, yeah, I can get rid of the debuff. Good. Let's do after Image as well. And then two strikes. Mm -hmm. And then I just need 24 damage. Got extra energy with the Sundial. Not exactly something I wanted to trigger here, but fine. Come. Okay. Sucker Punch, Cloak and Nagger prepared. Let's definitely take the Cloak and Nagger. I wouldn't mind getting some shivs. Looter and Mugger. Yeah, I think I'll just do Wraith Form here, right? Um, yeah, let's do Wraith Form. Do I still need to defend? I'm okay losing 2 HP. I think I'll just do um, Sucker Punch and Malaise. Come. Okay. Hmm. At the cold snap, I wouldn't even need, uh, lose those 2 HP, but I think this is fine. Uh, FTL, beam cell, neutralize, strike, strike, and kill. Good. Mm -hmm. And Lana is trying to escape, which is unfortunate. Let's do Panache after Mitch Cloak and Nagger. Oof, I'm a little worried. I need to deal a lot of damage in a very short amount of time. Mm, that, might be not, that might not be good. Let's do Streamline, Strike, Storm of Steel... Oh no, I need I need three more damage. Can I get something that does three damage? Um, do I have a zero cost attack card? I do not. That's a bummer. Because now also, if I had the trip earlier, that would have been enough. Okay, I lost 40 gold out of that, right? That's unfortunate. All right, actually, no, there's just 30 gold still. I mean, it's 30 gold, but still. All right, uh, there is a storm. I don't think I really need to... Take a storm. I do have some power, but I don't think that's enough. Piercing was, I think, much better. Sneaky strike would also work better if I had more discard. All right, so here let's do. I think I'll do. I like to do buffer. Let's do venom buffer, and that's it. Okay. Yeah, not having extra energy is annoying. Hmm. All right. Yeah, I could just do wraith form here again. Right. Yeah. Let's do wraith form. Then white noise gives me heat sinks. Oh, unfortunately, I will lose my buffers. Hmm, that's a bummer. Okay. Fine. All right, another three. Uh, attack, skill, and power. I don't have a power here. Let's do Cold Snap. Um, I think I'll just do Storm of Steel here. Okay. Mm -hmm. only have one more turn of intangibility. And I haven't dealt enough damage yet. Okay. All right, FTL, Strike, Sucker Punch, Strike to Kill. All right. Okay, no more intangibility. And these ones have nine strength already. Oof, 30 incoming. This is not looking good. Let's do Panache. Beam Cell, Neutralize. Strike and Strike. Not enough to trigger the Panache yet. Hmm. I do have a Fire Push. I might consider throwing that. Um, let's do Reinforced Body, maybe? No. Let's do Cold Snap. 
then survivor. Okay, and I'll do defend and malaise the backliner. All right. This is not the fight where I thought I would take this much damage in. Okay, FTL. And a strike is enough to kill this one. And then I think I'll accept the damage just so I can do a streamline here. I'll also trigger the pocket watch next turn and hopefully allows me to kill. So I'm down to 29. That's actually a little disappointing. All right, I do have Storm of Steel here. I think that should be enough. Strike and Storm of Steel. Yeah, that is enough. Thanks for Panache. Wow, tough fight there. We got a Distal Chaos Potion, which um, if I knew I was going to get a potion, I would have I would have used the Fire Potion. Let's get rid of the Fire Potion. Still take it. Choke, uh, choke Cloak and Nagger, Cool-Headed. I, if I had energy, I would have taken the Choke. Let's take the Cool-Headed instead. Yeah, Centurion Mystic, is there a way for me to go to Overkill here? Not really. I don't have anything at skills. And I have 20 incoming. Ugh, not a good start. Beam Cell, play the Shivs. Um, I kind of want to do Defend and Streamline. Let's do that. I will take one damage that way. Or I could just do Sucker Punch. No, let's do Streamline because I would want... Right now, my problem is I don't have enough damage cards, so Streamline would be my best damage card at the moment. Panache, White Noise, Footwork, Defend, Strike, Strike. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then here I have 12 incoming. Um, a one energy room for Spotty is enough, although I can also just play a bunch of other stuff. Okay. Another 12. Let's do FTL. I think I'll just do Storm of Steel. Um, it won't be enough to kill the right 24. Let's do After Image. Defend, Strike. I'm annoyed at how much damage I'm taking from the pain. Okay. At least I'm fully defended here. And I'm not being attacked, which is great. Let's do Strike. Uh, neutralize. Just to kill this one. And then let's do the buffer, although once I draw the pain, I'll be invalidated. Okay, still not being attacked. I could just do Wraith Form. No, let's do damage here. So, yeah, Cold Snaps, uh, Cloak and Dagger, and the Upgraded Strike. Okay, and might as well do Malaise for fun. Why not? Mm -hmm. All right, and then here I should be able to kill with a Streamline. Beautiful. All right, Streamline, Barrage, Cloak and Dagger. I already have these two. I really don't need Barrage, so I think I'll skip all of these, which is a shame. Here I got Unseen Top. Whenever you have no cards in hand during your turn, draw a card. Might be good if, it did, if I didn't have potions. I have to remember that, though. Every time I keep forgetting about the Unseen Top. Malaise is great here. Unfortunately, I will still take damage that way. Not if I do Deflect. Yeah, let's do Deflect and then Malaise. That'll be enough. Beautiful. And I guess I can do Neutralize as well. All right. Good start. Good start. And I trigger the Pocket Watch. Another three. Yeah, I think I have to do after image here, panache, and then just do two strikes. Okay. okay. All right, 12 incoming. Um, FTL, let's see what that gives me. Could just do survivor and then storm of steel, right? Yep. Okay. okay. Oh, I forgot about the NC top. See, I, I mentioned that I should try not to forget. Let's do cool headed here. There's a wraith form. Um, let's see what the white noise gives me. Loop is fine. And then let's just do buffer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Another five. I have extra energy, which is nice. I can play everything here. And this time, not forget about the unseizing top. And I got cold snap. All right. A little bit overkill in terms of... Ah, there's still a wraith form I can't play. He is not going to be weakened anymore starting next turn. Let's do cool headed. Can I get by with just the streamline? Yes, because then I have the storm of steel. Okay. Actually, I might be able to break this one. I just need 18 damage. Um, Cloak and Dagger, Lady Shivs, and then Strike is not quite enough. Actually, I should have done Venom first. If I did Venom and Strike, actually, Panache kills here. Beautiful. All right, perfect. This one, I got Sneko Skull. Whenever you apply poison, apply one additional poison. That makes the Venom so much better. I don't need Fission or Multicast. Let's take the Burst now. Hmm? Oof. So this will make me lose... Any no, if it's the Necronomic Curse... I'll lose 16, right? Two, one, two, three. Oh, it's really risky. And I have an elite coming up and I have a pain. I don't think I can risk this. This could have been... Okay, I think what I'm going to do is I, I just want to see what curse I get. And then I'll reload. Uh, just to see if I could have been... Uh, if I would have been able to get the Necronomic Curse. No, it's Nero's Codex. Let's reload. Actually, I wonder if that, uh, it actually allows me to reload and not take it. I just wanted to see if there was a way for me to get curses. And now I know that this wouldn't have helped me. So let's just leave here. Save the HP. 
right, slavers, um, and I'm pretty sure that would have been suicide if I take it, because I just needed to draw the pain at one point, not even talking about not being able to fight, right, just drawing the pain and you're dead, right, let's do panache, white noise gives me machine learning, all right, let's do piercing whale, okay, so I still need to defend against 14, that does seem like a challenge, um, should I drink the speed potion, that'll be 10, plus 12, that's not quite enough, but it almost gets me there, so let's drink this, um, do beam cell. All right, then um, I do two attacks. No, let's. I have to do defend here, and that's. Wait, how do I get fourteen? I guess I have to also throw a weakness potion. That seems wasteful, but all right. Okay, so now I have only twelve, and I have to defend defended. Good. Hmm. Why did I target this one? I should have targeted the backliner. It might have been a mistake on my part. Also, I sort of need wraith form at this point. I didn't get it. Let's do after image. You know what? I'm going to play the Distal Chaos. Strike, cool-headed, and a pain. All right. Then do FTL. Mm -hmm. And then Panache will kill. So I think I can do Neutralize. And then be fully defended and do the Storm of Steel. Okay. And that's enough to kill the backline as well. Good. Okay. And I forgot about the Unseen Top again. All right. Let's do Sucker Punch. Um, is there a way for me to get combo here? Not really. So I think I'll just kill. Alright, perfect this one. We got Mercury Hourglass at the start of your turn. Do a three damage show enemies, a swift potion, and unload burst are all for one. All for one might not be a bad idea here. I do have some zero cost cards. You do base on normal enemy combats are no longer encountering crush mark rooms. That's nice. The book of stabbing, really hoping for a malaise. I do have a wraith form. That alone is not gonna be enough though. Piercing whale and storm of steel would work. Yeah, let's do piercing whale, cold snap, and then storm of steel. Okay. And that's good. Alright. Another 21. Um, yeah, there's nothing I can do here. Even if I do double defense, right? That's 12. I'm gonna draw something. Let me see. All right. Well, 12 plus 7 is 19. Uh, plus 2 is enough. Yeah, yeah, that is enough. And I have Sucker Punch, which I definitely want to play. Let's do Sucker Punch, Cloak and Nagger. I should have played the Panache first. Okay. All right, so 11. And then I can do Defend, and that's it. I'm already losing so much damage. Oh, so much HP from the pain. Nope, uh, Panache yet, or uh, Panacea yet, no, sorry, Malaise, that's why I wanted, to. let's do FTL, Deflect, and then I should have done After Image and then Alpha 1, okay, and then FTL and Deflect again, that allows me to be fully defended, good, mm -hmm. 24, oh, come on, it's at the bottom, isn't it, Red Bursty White Noise, actually, wait, um, I only need a 2 energy reinforced body, so yeah, I can burst a White Noise, let's do that, okay, then infinite blades to fragment beam cell and reinforced body. Do I need? Yeah, I do need a two energy. Wait, I have seven. Yeah, one energy is not enough. Okay, I forgot that the burst was upgraded. Right, twenty one incoming. There is the malaise. A little too late for that though. Let's definitely do neutralize and shiv. Okay, so I just need fifteen. Survivor would be enough, right? Yeah. So let's do survivor, and then I'm trying to think if I need a venom. No, let's just do the malaise here. Okay. Yeah, that should help me. I've been coming. All right, let's do streamline. And then just storm of steel. Avoid taking more damage from the pain. Hmm. And that's enough to kill. Beautiful. Got a gremlin horn. Gremlin horn. One of an enemy dies, gain energy and draw one card, which is nice. Seek is really good. I don't think I need an innate machine learning. I think Seek is much better. Okay. Um, I guess I wouldn't mind getting rare cards. Yeah, and Tiny House already did its thing, right? So I can lose it. Let's let's replace Tiny House with Lost Gift. So Lost Gift is triple the chance of finding rare cards from Conrad Rewards, all right? Okay, and then after this, I have, just have to survive this and go left for an extra question mark room. That will also give me extra rest side, which I would probably use to rest. Oof, that's a lot of incoming. Um, so buffer, can I kill this one? I do have Sucker Punch. Then that's not going to be enough, right? So I, I feel like I definitely have to use the buffer, right? So 18 plus 9 is um, uh, is uh, 27. So 3 energy room first body will be only 21. If I kill this one with a sucker punch, then I still have the 18 and this is only 14. And the buffer is not enough. Is there something else I can do? Bend reinforced body. Yeah, no, that's still not enough. So if I play the buffer, I'll still take... A bunch of incoming, unless 
No, there's nothing I can do here. I said kill, so if I... No, no. I guess I guess at this point it's just minimizing damage. But to minimize damage, the best thing to do is to kill this one with a Sucker Punch. And then they reinforce body. Yeah, that's a shame. I don't think there's... A, oh, wait. No, I'm good. I'm good. Right, right. I forgot about the Gremlin Horn. Yeah, that allows me to be fully defended. Well, I'm glad I did that rather than play the buffer. Okay. So here, let's do White Noise, Creative AI. Okay. Then um, probably should do After Image, Cloak and Dagger. Can I kill this one? If I do Shiv, Shiv, and Strike. And another Strike that kills this one also allows me to play a Panache. Good. And another Strike. All right. The back line is attacking again. I do have Electrodynamics, but this time I need 18. I do have the Survivor and Storm of Steel. Electrodynamics will evoke one orb for eight, another one for three. That's 11. That's not quite enough. And then I do Storm of Steel. I can't get... Well, it would kill, and I could draw things. This is tough. I think I'll do Survivor first. Then... No, Electrodynamics is not enough. Then I think I have to do Beam Cell and Storm of Steel. Really? How? Oh no, that's... Oh, Panache was enough to kill. And I can do Defend, and that allows me to be fully defended. And uh, I guess, I don't know if I want to play the Burst. It could give me a Malaise. No, fine, fine. Okay. And then here, there's a Pain, which is annoying. Um, Let's do... Can I just do Malaise? Let's do FTL. Okay. And then Envenom. Can I seek something? Let's seek Wraith Form. I don't think that's necessary. Let's do Venom, Cold Snap, and then Malaise. Okay. All right. And I don't need the Wraith from this turn. I'll need to deal a lot of damage. I might just play it just, just, to, just for fun, I guess. Yeah, let's play it. That would allow me to not have to worry about incoming for a while. And then I'll do uh, Beam Cell. Do I need Capacitor? Not really. I guess it doesn't hurt. Let's do Capacitor and then Reinforce Body. Okay. Hmm. Alright, so this turn everyone is attacking, but I do have my uh, Intangibility. All for one is interesting. Let's do Deflect. All for one. Beam Cell. Deflect again. Then Strike. Okay. And then thanks to Panache, I can play another Strike to kill this one. And I can't do the buffer. Fine, I guess I'll do another Capacitor. Guaranteed to not be attacked, but I only need very little here. Let's do FTL, Electrodynamics, and then Storm of Steel. Okay. All right, beautiful. Survive with 2 HP. We've got Pentograph at the Star Boss Combat Seal, 25 HP. That makes me think maybe I can skip resting. But no, I still have another question mark room that might be a regular fight. So let's not risk it. Actually, no, with Juju Base, it can't be a regular fight. Maybe I'll risk it after all. Glass Knife, Dead Eye, Core Search. Core Search is nice. Dead Eye is nice too. Let's take the Dead Eye. I don't have a lot of AoE damage. You know what? I'm going to risk it. Let's uh, upgrade the After Image. And, uh, no, let's upgrade the Seek first and then the After Image. Okay. All right. Here, I don't think I need to spend this much gold to remove a card. Although that pain is really annoying. There is still a small chance to go for Curses, although it's going to be really difficult to get Curses and Highlander, but I think I'll risk it. Um, next upgrade should be Storm of Steel after image now. Let's do the after image now. Okay. All right. Okay, back to 27. That's uh, good. I think I'll try to trigger the... Um, actually, there's Storm of Steel here, which I would like to play. I think I'll do after image in Venom, and then Storm of Steel after a strike. Okay. So I won't trigger the Pocket Watch next turn, but I will gain uh, only one extra dex. Yeah, fine. Come. Okay. And I got rid of the artifacts. So that's good. Everyone has attacked me. That is not good. I could do Wraith Form. Let's do Panache first. Then White Noise. That's an accuracy, all right. I think I have to do Wraith Form, right? There's no other way for me to defend against uh, 32. Uh, no, 30. Is there? And there's Buffer. But no, I think I think it has to be Wraith Form. Would like to keep the Wraith Form for later, though. Wait, let me think. So if I do Cloak and Dagger, that's not quite enough. Storm of Steel. Piercing Whale. Piercing Whale would be... Yeah, Piercing Whale would be enough. Let's do the Piercing Whale, then. And then I think I'll also do the Die, Die, Die. Do I want all for one? No, I can save it for later. All right, so Piercing Whale is here. Could do Malaise, too. Um. Yeah, yeah, why not? Let's do Piercing Whale and Malaise. Okay, so Piercing Well allows me to be defended fully once I play the Malaise. 
Then Panache dealt some damage. Good. Hmm. Alright. Okay, so no one has attacked me here. Um, and now I got Wraith Form, which is a shame. Actually, actually, well, if I play it now, I'll get another attack. No, it's not going to save me. I was hoping to keep it for the big attack. I do need... Can I get back to it somehow? Not not easily, but yeah, playing it now just doesn't make any sense. Um, so let's just do three attacks. Cold Snap, Strike, Strike. Okay. So the Backlander will be dead with the Poison next turn. That's good. This one took Buffer. That would also help me, actually. Backlander took Die to Die. That's fine. All right, so here, I mean, that's going to be annoying again. Uh, let's do Beam Cell, Cloak and Nagger, then play the Shivs. I can also just kill this one to get the Dead right now. No, actually, if I trigger Panache, that would be enough, right? Let's do Neutralize. Okay. All right, and then, unfortunately, I can't do Buffer with the Pain. Unless I play it at the very end. I am fully defended, so I could do Streamline. Die to die, and then finish off with the Buffer. Okay. All right, so if I don't play anything else, I will have the buffer for the big attack. Yeah, I think that's good. Yeah. All right, so here, all for one shows up in the wrong turn. Let's do cool headed, um, deflect all for one, deflect again, sucker punch, and strike. Come okay. mm. here, I'm okay losing one buffer, and actually, I don't want to play anything else to avoid losing another buffer from the pain. Come, okay. it's not the wraith form, I guess. That's kind of impressive. All right, and then here I could Bursty Cloak and Nagger. Let's do Neutralize first. Bursty Cloak and Nagger. Okay. Play all the shivs. Yeah, and Venom together with Sneko Skull is dealing a good amount of damage here. Mm -hmm. Still have one buffer, which is nice. 20 incoming. Let's do Streamline, Cold Snap, and then Storm of Steel. Okay. And actually, that's enough to kill with the poison. Beautiful. Right, perfect. This one took me some time, but was able to get it. I think now, I don't think I'll do Bias Condition now. I think I'll take the Echo Form, and it's pre-upgraded, which might be nice. Definitely going to take Black Star, at least I'm additional Rilo going defeated. Again, that might increase the chance of me being able to get Winged Boots. Okay. 35 minutes. Doing Act 3 on, in less than 10 minutes might be difficult. 1, 2, 3, 4 on the left. 1, 2, 3, 4 on the right. Yeah, no 5 Elite Path again. If I go on the left, I'll get 2 question mark rooms in a row. And then, oh, sorry, 2 shops in a row. Actually, 3 guaranteed shops. And then only 3 question mark rooms. That might be a little too much. Uh, middle doesn't have a 4 Elite Path, right? Yeah, so then if I go on the right, I'll get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 question mark rooms. No guaranteed shop, though. Hmm. I mean, there's a small chance I might get curses. So, yeah, let's go on the right. Come. Okay. All right, so here I definitely want to do the Venom. Uh, can I play everything? Well, I can, but then I will take a bunch of damage. Let me see what the Cool Headed... Let's do After Mission and then Cool Headed. Okay. And then let's do Neutralize. And uh, I don't think I'll do the Venom. Instead, I'll do Reinforced Body. Okay. All right, not happy that I'm already starting off losing a bunch of HP. 18. Uh, let's seek... Uh, not the Die-Die-Die, die, right? Can I seek the Wraith Form? Yeah, that would allow me to not have to worry about the Exploders. Uh, and then I need also a skill, which I have the malaise and attack can be the Cold Snap, right? Or I can just do Cloak and Nagger. Yeah, let's do Wraith from Cloak and Nagger. I can target the Backliner as well. Okay. And then let's malaise the Backliner too. All right. Okay. Once I have uh, some block, I can just... Actually, what? I don't want to deal with the pain, so let's just move on. And then here, last term of tangibility. Let's do white noise for a machine learning. Get rid of the echo form so I can play some good attacks like a strike and then a storm of steel. Okay. Beautiful. Oh, uh, that is not enough. Let's do panache. And okay, I need to play one more attack. It means I have to come up with some block. Oh, no, my Mercury Eyeglass is killed. Good. Burst charge battery. Turbo, I already have the burst between turbo and charge battery. Let's take the charge battery. And then here, oof. I'm okay losing the Liquid Bronze to gain a meal ticket when I enter Shop Heal 15 HP. That's kind of nice. Mm -hmm. All right, Orb Walker, let's do... The pain is annoying again. Let's do After Image, Invenom, Panacea, Cloak and Nagger. Oh, I can't do Sucker Punch and two shifts. If I played the Panacea a little sooner, I would have been able to trigger it as well. Okay. 13 FTL, White Noise gives me well laid plants. All right. And then I think I'll do church. No, let's do buffer and then church battery. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, another 16. 
Um, I don't think I need Echo Form. Or not Echo Form, all for one. Yeah, I'll just get an FTL back. So I think instead I'll do Echo Form and then a Reinforced Body would allow me to be fully defended. Okay. And then now let's keep the all for one because I might... Oh, right, the Weld Plant's not upgraded. Hmm. Need four. Let's do double play the Streamline. Okay. And then a Strike and a Neutralize is enough. Good. All right. Okay, didn't take too much damage there. We got a Strength Potion, Stack, Piercing World Revenge. Now I think it's a perfect time to take a Stack. Yeah, my deck is large enough. That Stack will be pretty useful now. And then I am going left and then right. Okay. So here, I mean, this would give me curse number three. And it's a unique curse. Let's risk it. Okay. Also, the healing I do appreciate. All right. Dark links. Uh, and again, starting off with the pain. Let's do after him a charge battery and a strike. Okay. Hmm. All right. I guess I can trigger pocket watch that way. 18. There's a Seek there. I could Seek, what, Wraith Form? Storm of Steel and Venom? Um, I think I should be fine if I Seek the... Um, I have a Storm of Steel. No, Echo Form, right? Yeah, let's do the Storm of Steel. And then, probably not the Burst, right? Maybe something that gives me some block? Neutralize, sure. Then I can do Echo Form, FTL, Neutralize. Then... Um, Stack is a good amount of block. Let's do stack. And then Storm of Steel. Good. Hmm. And then I guess if I get a zero cost card. I'm, yeah, Panache is actually a good thing to play. All right, fine. Now, I did draw the Wraith Form, which means I won't be able to play it again. And I might need it more urgently later. At 15, I can do Die Die here twice, which kills one of them. All right. And then Streamline plus Cold Snap kills the other. Okay. And then I can't do the buffer, so let's just do Survivor, I guess. Okay. All right, and then here I just need 8 damage, which seems very doable with an awful one. Beautiful. Got a Dex Potion, Hologram, Slicer Ball, Lightning. I think Hologram would be really good to allow me to bring back a Wraith Form, which I can't play sometimes. Nemesis, probably want to do Big Malaise here. Want after which? No, I think I'll just do Big Malaise. Okay. That allows me for the multi-hit to only take zero incoming. For the big attack, I'll still be in trouble. I need the buffer for that. Or a Wraith Form. Wraith Form alone won't be enough, though. Uh, so if I play Wraith Form, I'll be intangible. There's no way for me to gain block, right? Um, let me see. I kind of want to burst. What if I burst the Reinforced Body? That'll be 14 times to 28. Still not quite enough. If I drink the Dex Potion, it will be enough. You see what the white nose gives me? Tools of the trade and then burst the earring first body. Okay. Alright. Okay, not being attacked here. That's good. Uh, probably don't need the injury. I think I'll just do strike all for one and beam cell. Okay. okay. And another big attack. Okay. Um, I can get rid of the pain, which is really nice. And I still have the buffer, right? So I kind of want to... Or should I hologram? Actually, yeah. If I do FTL, I can hologram the Wraith form. That would allow me to be fully defended and save my seek for later. Sure. Mm -hmm. All right. So here... And I can play the buffer still. Uh, don't need this. Uh, let's just do buffer. I can't play streamline, which is unfortunate. Uh, Sucker punch for an extra turn of weakness and wait. Right. Yep, intangible here. And that was three big attacks in a row, right? That's annoying. Get rid of the burn here. Let's do Venom, Neutralize. Charge Battery, Strike. And might as well do Deflect. Okay. Hmm. Still have two buffers. No more intangibility. Get rid of the pain, which is nice. And play all my attacks. Okay. And a Panache. Oh, I forgot about the Unseen Top again. Didn't have any energy, though, so that's nice. Three incoming. Wow. Wow, is this a bad hand. Um, Am I just going to lose? Yeah, I'm just going to lose my um, perfect here. Because the birds get rid of my buffer, and then I take three damage. Wow, that was actually really horrible. Okay. All right, I guess that can happen. If I had the aftermatch, that would have been a different story. Uh, let's do that at I here and then Storm of Steel and hopefully that'll be enough to end this nightmare. Difficult fight and also I got really unlucky. Yeah, bummer. All right.
Survive the swagger potion belt up and pick up gain two potion slots and lantern so I come with additional energy. A thousand cuts is not amazing, but it might be okay. Who's my final boss, by the way? Awaken one. Never mind. Let's avoid a power then. An extra power. Let's take the reboot instead. Here, I wouldn't want to lose the after image, although it is innate. I'm okay losing a strike. I wouldn't want to use the piercing one either. Okay. And then I need three more elites, so go right and then turn left. Okay. I got the Eruptor Mancer here. I am tempted to do a malaise, but I also need to defend. Let's do cool headed. Strike is not enough. Um, I should do after image survivor. So I only need I have eleven, I need more. This is enough though, right? Yeah, and then I can do a two energy melee, which is not too bad. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright, everyone is attacking me. I could get a die to die. Uh let me hang on. Should I do Wraith Form? I could also just do Wraith Form, right? But then I need to so this will be a skill and then I have a beam cell for an attack. Alright, let's get a Wraith Form. Um, I will also grab the Panache for fun. So let's do Panache, Wraith Form, and then Beam Cell U. Okay. Am I still taking? No, I'm not taking damage because I have a Frost Drop Hue. All right. So I am taking five damage there. All right. Okay. So here I can burst the Cloak and Dagger probably. Let's do Neutralize first. Burst the Cloak and Dagger. Okay. A bunch of shifts here, then a cold snap, and that's it. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, here I'm not being attacked. That's nice. Uh, let's do streamline strike and storm of steel. Mm -hmm. Still need to deal a lot of damage. That's it. That's unfortunate. All right, so 30 incoming. I do have a stack here. That's 33. Let's see what the white noise gives me. Creative AI and then stack. Okay. Hoping the creative eye will give me something useful. It's okay. a lot. All right. There's a buffer. That's nice. Um, I can do... How do I do this? I might just do buffer here. Yeah, let's do the buffer. And then I think I'll do Venom as well. I might as well do FTL. No reason not to. Okay. Okay, there, there go my two buffers. Mm -hmm. And I'm not being attacked here. That's good. Let's do Beam Cell, Cold Snap, da da die. Strike. Might as well do Caltrops. I feel like I'm close. I just need... Actually, the poison is enough to kill the next turn. That was a surprisingly difficult fight, but I got through it. I perfect this one. I got Art of War. If you do not play any attacks, you can turn get additional energy next turn, as well as pair up and pick up Race from Extra by 10, and a Fruit Juice Potion, which I'll drink right away. And Grand Finale, da da or Echo Form. I already have these two, and I definitely don't want Grand Finale, so let's skip. I still need to buy nine... So get nine cards. At war paint up pick up two random skills. That's two defense upgraded. And then going left, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I got Dark Superior. Yeah, whenever you obtain a curse, increase your max speed by six. A little too late for that, although I still have one more crush marker coming up. Alright, giant head with 13 incoming, and I can only barely defend. Let's do after image. Do I have to burst the defend? Or can I get by? No, I think I have to burst the defend, right? Unless I can do cool snap, strike. No, no, I have to burst the defend. Yeah, come. Okay. And then do cold snap. Alright. Okay. Another 13. White noise gives me tools of the trade, which is nice. Cool headed. Malace might be really good. Yeah, let's do a big malace. Come. Okay. Alright. And then here, a little too late for the Wraith form, or too early, I guess. Uh, let's just do play my skills and then strike. Another six. Um, there is the Seek. I also use all for one, although that will only give me back a deflect, which is not useful. Let's get rid of it then. What would I want to Seek here? And Venom might be good. Echo Form. Actually, I can Seek the... Wait, can I defend if I Seek the Echo Form? Not really. Unless I had to reboot and get a lucky zero-cost card. Seems a little risky. Or I can just Seek another zero-cost card myself. So let's do FTL and Echo Form. Okay. Play the FTL. Um... So then if I do Echo Form, that's 5, and then let's also do Reboot. That also gives me energy, thanks for Sundial. And I can do the buffer. Yeah, I think that's worth it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Big attacks are starting up. Whatever I play first will be double plate, so I could fully defend with the Reinforced Body or deal damage with the Streamline. I don't think I need to hologram anything useful. Um, I could I could hologram the uh, Venom, though. Let's get rid of this. I think I will hologram the Envenom and a Cool-Headed. Okay. 
Then do Venom. I think if I do Storm of Steel, that would be enough. Maybe a Cold Snuffer. No, let's do Storm of Steel. I would also draw another card that way. Okay. And then I don't think I need to play the Survivor. All right. 31. I still have my buffers, which is good. I think I'll keep the Cloak and Dagger. I could burst Cloak and Dagger and deflect. Get rid of the strike. So that'll be 14 plus 10. Um, 24. I think I should be enough, right? Yeah, let's burst Cloak and Dagger. Let's play twice. I forgot about that. And then deflect twice. And then do Beam Cell. And then, yeah, play all my shivs. Okay. I think I might be able to kill you with the poison. Alright, 36. Uh, get rid of a strike. Panache, FTL. I probably shouldn't have played that twice, huh? Sucker Punch. I think here I have to lose my perfect. Yeah. Although if I did double play the defend, that would have been enough. Which, uh, yeah. That's fine, that's fine. I lose a buffer here. Okay. Another 30. I think I'll do... Yeah, I think this is the right turn to do Wraith Form. Let's do Wraith Form. And um, I guess I will wait because I don't have a, an attack. Okay. Do I still have a power left? Otherwise, I'll lose decks too quickly. I might not have a power left. I do have lots of turns of intangibility, so that's good. All right, let's do double play the um, die to die. Come. Okay. All right. Then do neutralize cloak and dagger. Mm -hmm. And then let's do charge battery and a strike. Okay. Yeah, I think the poison and my five more turns of, of intangibility should be enough. And and there's no way to get. Um, to get either combo or overkill, right? I don't think there is. Even if I play a bunch of cards here. Yeah, I'm no nowhere able to play more than like 10 or 11 cards every turn. Which is a problem. Um, and then here, yeah, all for one might have been possible. But I need more zero cost cards for that to work. I got single ball. When any cards into deck, you may raise your make sure you buy two instead. And gambling chip at the start of each combat. Um, discard any number of cards and then draw that many cards. Here, the only card I don't have is the bullet time. So let's take it. And then last question mark room for a regular fight. Yeah, no way to get curses at all. So, and I don't have a shop either, which means I can't remove the um, the pain I picked up. Okay. Let's do Panache, After Image, Buffer, and Storm of Steel. Okay. Oh, I forgot about the Unseen Tom. What's the card I lost there? Um, I'm not sure, actually. Okay. Lost my two buffers, which is a bummer. Um, let's do Beam Cell, Sucker Punch, Defend. I guess I could have done the um, uh, the card I just have bullet time, but it is fine. Okay. All right. There's Seek and Pain, which is annoying. Uh, let me Survivor the Pain out first. Okay. And then I can do Wraith Form. That will make my life easier. Yeah, let's do Wraith Form. Can I gain extra energy? Not really, right? Yeah, fine. Let's do Wraith Form. Then Deflect, Neutralize. Okay. And then let me Seek something like the Zero Cost White Noise and uh, something else Zero Cost like the Malice. Okay. All right. Kind of fun to have extra focus. Oh, I, I can't get rid of the bias cognition debuff, right? So I just have to uh, play another power. I didn't get that one, though. Let's do that at I. Cool headed. Mm -hmm. And then reboot. See what if I get something good. FTL and charge battery. All right. And nope, nothing else. Fine. Mm -hmm. Another one. Um, here, I think I'll do bullet time. Burst the defense. And then do Streamline. Okay, that's enough to kill. Beautiful. We got Tanks to Nard. One of you lose one damage. Uh, lose one HP, lose one less, which is great. Would have allowed me to protect the um, the uh, Nemesis if I had that earlier. I already have the Sucker Punch between Slice and Flechettes. I think I'll take the Slice. And then here, let's upgrade all for one. Not really. Storm of Steel, maybe. I do try to play it as often as I can. And again, I'm just amazed by how few um, potions I was able to get throughout this whole run. Echo form is tempting, but I have to deal. Actually, I do have Storm of Steel. Yeah, I can do After Image. Ooh, there's a Seek as well. All right, let's Seek. Um, how about Panache and White Noise? Then do After Image first, Panache, White Noise. Gives me a Wally Plans. I can do Beam Cell, Echo form, and then Storm of Steel. Uh, did I miscalculate? No, I should be able to kill one of them. All right. And then, uh, yeah, I'm fully defended. Can't play the all one, but I can save it for later. Although it will only give me back a beam cell at the moment. Mm -hmm. All right, so here, well, it can also give me an FTL, all right? Um, and then let's do all four. No, streamline. Still play twice, right? Because the first card wasn't played twice. 
And then here, I think I'll do buffer. But um, let's also do survivor or church battery to um, to at least keep one buffer for later. And then here, I'll still keep the alpha one. Okay. okay. They're already incoming. That's why I wanted to keep the buffer for. Uh, let's double play the uh, neutralize or the alpha one, I mean. FTL, beam cell, streamline, slice, and then neutralize. And let's see what the cool header gives me. Strike again. Oh, I should have. Yeah, I think, I think, wait, hang on. Can I play one more card, especially with the Sundial? I might be able to. Beautiful. Yeah, that way I can save the buffer for later as well. Okay. Also, I got, I'm got i up to 15 cards. That was not too bad. Maybe if I played the um, Energy Potion with the uh, Cool Head, that might have been something. 26. Um, I will lose the buffer if I play anything about right. But I think instead I'll double play the Wraith Form. Okay. And then I can do another Cold Snap. All right. Um, I don't think I need to keep anything, especially with some terms of intangibility. I should be able to kill very easily here with the streamline. Beautiful. All right, got Eternal Feather. Whenever you, um, for every five cards in your deck, kill three. Shoot whenever you enter a rest site, and then Pendip. Every tenth attack you play deals double damage. I still don't want to. I would like to avoid a power nightmare. Is interesting. It's just very expensive. I think instead I'll take the Core Surge. And then here, I'm not sure what to upgrade anymore. I guess upgrading the burst might be nice. Mm hmm. All right, awaken one with a bunch of powers I would like to play, but probably shouldn't. Uh, get rid of everything here other than the after image and charge battery. Cold sun might be good too. Let's keep that. Okay. There's a venom which I should be hesitant with. Would possibly do a lot of damage, but not enough. Let's do after image for sure. Charge battery for sure. It's eleven, and then reinforced body is not enough. So I think cold snap alone. Hang on, so it's going to be 12, 13, 20, 21. Yeah, I think with Cold Snap, I should be able to play the Reinforced Body. Yes, yes, didn't miscalculate that. Good. So I have an Energy Potion too, which I might be willing to use. Okay, lots of incoming here. Uh, let's do Cloak and Dagger. Neutralize. Then Survivor would... Wait, I have to kill the minions too at some point, right? I could try to get Unseen Top to give me something good. So let's do Survivor, one of the shivs. Then do Slice, Storm of Steel to replace the Slice with an upgraded Slice. And then Streamline, beautiful. Gives me energy. I can do Sucker Punch to weaken the backline for another turn. And that's it. Okay. Hmm. Another 15 plus 9. I can burst the Hologram, but to get what back? That might not be a bad idea. I, sh I would love to do... Ah, for does give the enemy extra strength. Let's do Bullet Time here. But then it has to be a zero cost card I get back, right? Or a one cost card. Remember that? All right. So, um, let's see. I would like to do, I think I should do bullet time. All right. Because then I can do buffer. Do I want to burst the hologram or burst whatever hologram gives me back? I could burst a stack. I can burst both, right? Yeah. Let's burst the hologram. Bring back a zero cost card and a one cost card. How about I bring back a streamline? No. Uh, wait, I also need to defend. Right? I might not have enough defense. Yeah, let's bring, let's bring back the stack. And then um, now I'll bring back zero cost neutralize. Okay. Then do beam cell neutralize. And then stack. Okay. Yeah, that was plenty of block. And wait. Oh, because uh, I forgot that I had the... Uh, well, I, I didn't forget about the unseen top. I thought that the bullet time wouldn't let me draw things. But I forgot about the orange pellets. Okay. Uh, no big harm done there. Um, let's do core search to die. Anything I need to seek. I might have to seek the Wraith Form because I don't think I can fully defend here. There's no way I can kill this one on time, right? Yeah, let's seek the Wraith Form and then do I have a zero cost attack left? I do have FTL. So FTL and Wraith Form. Play Wraith Form first, then do FTL. Okay. All right. But I can't do double damage. Uh, actually, I could have considered drinking the Energy Potion here. I'm still intangible. That's good. I kind of want to do Echo Form. And I have a Malaise, but then I'll lose the buffers if I do anything. Actually, I'll lose the buffer either way. Because I'll get five incoming. I only have two. I'll do one Deflect. Because that way, I still have one buffer left. Okay? Really wish I removed that pain. Okay? Another two time-wise. Ooh, actually, I have to speed this up. I can't believe it. I don't think I'll do it in less than a minute. I don't want to do Panache... And Venom is tempting, but no. Let's do all for one with double damage. See what I get. All right, FTL. Then charge battery. 
And I think I want to trigger the pocket watcher next turn, so let's not play anything else. Okay. Wait, is the... Yeah, no, I, I reshuffled, so I should be able to get my good cards back. Not intangible anymore, but I think that's fine. Let's do Shiv, Neutralize, Slice, Cloak and Dagger for two more Shivs. That allows me to be fully defended. Let's also apply an extra turn of weakness and wait. Okay. Hmm. Me four. This is with weakness. Hologram the stack, probably. I still have a buffer, which I'm going to lose. Yeah, stack is 16, but that's almost good enough. Conform is tempting. No, let's hologram the buffer. Uh, stack, I mean. And that would be enough. Okay. Hmm. Another 23. Alright, this is a problem. Should have cold snap for sure. Let's see what the cool headed gives me. Core search. So I have 15 right now. I need another 10. I think it has to be reboot. Okay. Alright, there's deflect. That's good. Allows me to be fully defended and I can do a strike. Okay, that was nice. Another 23. I don't think there's anything I can do about that. Yeah, there's nothing I can do right Best I can do is bullet time, streamline, cloak and dagger, play these shivs, and that gives me 21. I need 23. Ah, uh, that's a bummer. I think I think the pain really hurt me here. I think without it I would have no trouble perfecting. Let's do strike, survivor, and stack. Let me see if that's the only turn I wasn't able to fully defend. Um Alright, here reinforced body. A 200 reinforced body is enough. Let's do beam cell, neutralize. Charge battery actually is enough too. That way I can say I can uh, trigger the pocket watch next turn again. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, there's a malaise. What a shame. I think I should play the malaise. Actually, I guess I can't defend if I do the malaise. Let's do. Can I do storm of steel and malaise? No. What if I just do? Let's do echo form and then storm of steel. I guess I'm not playing the malaise again. I think I should be fine. Also, I guess at this point I'm not perfecting anymore anyway. Yeah. So let's just let's just try to kill here. Yeah, one hour, one minute. Yeah, definitely played a little too slowly, especially in Act 3. It got harder uh, the further I went along. Let's do all for one. I'm going to try to avoid playing more powers until I transform the enemy, which should happen very soon. Okay. And then let's do probably just strike. Da -da -da. I should have used the upgraded strike. Okay. All right, another 24. That's another reshuffle with extra energy. Good. Let's do FTL twice. And then a uh, cold snap to kill. Okay. Then I can do panache, uh, charge battery, and wait. Okay. I could have burst the charge battery for extra energy next turn. Mm -hmm. 44. I think I can just do reinforced body. I don't need that much reinforced body. Let's instead double strike. And then a two energy reinforced body is enough, right? Uh, yeah, let's do that. Okay. Another bunch incoming here. Let's double play the Venom. Okay. Then do Cloak and Dagger, Shivs, Hologram. I guess another Cloak and Dagger, uh, which is here. Okay. More Shivs. All right. So each attack I play deals, it gives the enemy uh, three extra poison. Okay. 22. Let's see what the White Nurse gives me. Footwork and Loop. Okay. Neutralize, Core Search, and Strike. No, I forgot about the NC top. I don't think I, I still don't think I can get combo here, right? I need, I need more energy, although I guess there's a turn I had Sundial. I could have used that somehow. Okay. Hmm. And then another 42. Uh, double play the streamline. Then do all for one. And ideally play the streamline again after FTL. Okay, neutralize, deflect, beam cell, slice, and a, sh a regular strike to kill together with the poison. Yeah, all right. I missed the perfect and last boss, which I definitely think is doable if I didn't have that pain. I think I, I risked too much. I shouldn't have gotten for Highland and Curses. That would have been impossible. 1379. So I shouldn't have attempted it, I should have said. I did get Highlander. Only two of the three bosses. Did perfect nine of the 13 elites, which is not too bad. Got I like shiny, money, money. Missed the Insigibia modifier because I didn't have a shop. And uh, also end up with 900 gold left over. Not the best score. I also missed any time modifiers, right? So at least with the time modifiers, I would have had 1429. That would have been better. Uh, with another boss, it would be 1529. Wow. 1529 would not still made it, would not have allowed me to make it in top 20. Oh, that is actually... Okay, so people clearly did something different. So even if I played faster and perfected one more boss, I would have only been in 29th place. 
So, um, yeah, so there's 16. Europa got another 100 points on top of what I said. So maybe Europa was able to affect all the other elites too. Four more elites. I guess you can also try to get overkill combo. I didn't say a single corpse explosion. That would have made it a little easier to get combo. Or, sorry, overkill. And I guess combo with unseasoned top, I definitely can see a way of doing that. Although I do think you need to get a little lucky. Yeah, that, that would be an impressive score. Let me know in the comments where to do it. But let's review the scores from yesterday where I did, well, where I did okay. Alright, so yesterday was a Watcher run with the Curse run, Red Cards, and Night Terrace modifiers. Uh, David ended up doing really well with 1486. You can check out his Twitch stream. David perfected 7 of well, all the elites and all the bosses. Didn't get Highlander um, as I didn't as well. Um, so David ended up with 6 curses and one of them was a duplicate pain at the very end, which is unfortunate. So he would have been able to get another 100 points, which would have been a very impressive score of 1586. Um, and I'm pretty sure everything above that would have are, are using glitches, so I, I can't... Yeah, David, with a little bit extra luck, would have been able to get a very impressive score. Um, David uh, didn't get overkill or combo, and I, I don't think anybody was able to get combo yesterday. I think it was too difficult to do. Uh, went for popper and um, also was able to get into Gabriel and the Alex Shiny Motfar and played faster. I think most people played very fast yesterday. Now, I would have had the same score as well if I also had gotten, well, not also, if I had gotten lucky and had gotten a duplicate curse or didn't get a duplicate curse at the end that would have allowed me to tie David with 19th place, but unfortunately I dropped down a little further. Uh, next, you have CTA Computer with 1438. Um, so, C uh, oh, and then I should also mention Very Upset also end up with 1438. Unfortunately, it's, uh, his uh, run wasn't recorded because of some internet issue. But he did post a screenshot, so you can check out that out in the comment from yesterday. So, very upset, perfected five of the seven elites and all the bosses. Was able to pull off Highlander and Curses. Got a little lucky, ended up with six unique Curses at the end. Got Overkill and Popper. I wasn't able to get into Gabrion, but he purposely kept the deck fairly thin. And I think that helped him quite a bit as well. End up taking Coffee Dripper over Sneko, because very upset has bad experiences with Sneko, which I think most people do. Um, and then also had a lot of fun with Whirlwind, uh, together with a Kabiko and Mutual Dragon Strength, especially if it showed up on turn one. Uh, so yeah, congratulations to Very Upset for a great score yesterday. Then you have Pelts here with 14-13. Pelts also was able to get Highlander and Curses. Uh, didn't go for Popper though, uh, bottled the Barricade at the beginning, and then decided to go for Rare Cards. And also believes that without the Rare Cards, he would not have been able to perfect, which, uh, I mean, wasn't the case for me, but may have been. Generally, it's, it's, it's a true statement. And also Pelts missed the Alex Shine Mod 5 by just a little bit. Then you have Gold Perry with 1388. Gold Perry uh, decided to go for collector bonuses instead. And up with only two, though, the Apparition and Bites. And I think that's the most anybody is able to get. So most people are offered the Apparition and Bites. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, when you take them, it's very difficult to get any max HP modifiers. And most people, without taking them, were able to get stuff modifiers. So uh, I think two collector bonuses and stuff sort of evens, evens each other out. Um, Goldberry went for a very aggressive type of deck and was able to kill the Act 3 boss in two turns, which is very impressive. Time here in two turns. Uh, then you have me here with 1386 tied with Cosmino and Hobo. Um, so I, as I mentioned, didn't get the Highlander Curses combination. I had five curses, one of them or two of them being duplicates, which is unfortunate. And I'm perfecting four elites and all the bosses. Um, was able to get Overkill and Popper. Missed the Insignia modifier by three cards. Uh, was able to get the Alex Shiny though, as well as the Time modifier. Kazumunu ended up with the same score with a different approach. I decided to go for collector bonuses, so I had the apparition and the bites, and then perfected six of the seven elites, all the bosses, and uh, actually was almost able to get back to well fed. Only missed one max HP to be able to get well fed as well, which would have been very impressive if he was able to pull it off. And you also have Hobu, who also missed the Highlander modifier by getting a duplicate doubt. Um, and then I'm glad to see Hobo back in uh, recording daily or playing daily. Although Hobo did mention that he might not be able to be as consistently uh, as before because he is consumed by Tarkov, which is a game I heard about but uh, haven't really played much. Then you have Panda and Corcus tied at 1361. Uh, Corcus perfected, I believe, everything. Also went for collector bonuses, got the apparition and the bites, uh, which I mentioned negates the uh, any extra points you could get from well-fed or stuffed. So end up not really getting an advantage from that. Ended up with three rights at the beginning, though, so that makes it very difficult to try to go for Highlander. Um, didn't go for Popper. Um, was trying to get combo by having things like Deva Form and Study and Dark Embrace, but didn't really see those. Was able to get Overkill and I like Shiny, as well as in the Insigvidian modifier, and unfortunately missed the time these light speed modified by two seconds and up at 14 45 minutes and two seconds then you have mikey with 1338 roland with 1313 jenny end up with 1311 just barely missing the top 100 although i guess she is tied with 95th place so we should consider that a uh, a uh, top 100 score 
And then I will also scroll down to Malzahn here with 1263. Malzahn perfected two of the three bosses. Misty Act 3 boss uh, actually had a lot of trouble and barely survived that one. But was able to pull off Highlander with a total of eight unique curses. That's really impressive. Now he was able to buy Omori at the shop at the very end. And that allowed him to be more confident about the curses. But yeah, still kind of annoying that Malzahn was able to get Highlander with eight unique curses. And I wasn't able to get Highlander with only, with, uh, with only I guess five curses total so yeah a little unfortunate there for me uh but yeah and then you also have steven with a slightly lower score of 1188 steven gave up on uh, getting highland and curses altogether after having some bad experiences and uh i there was a small discussion in my comments i did mention that um it is always a risk and today for me it was a 40 percent risk for uh, david it was a 50 percent risk uh but when it does happen it is a lot of fun and as steven encountered that when it fails then everybody who went for collector bonuses is you know in a better position so it's something to consider but i think it's on a day-by-day -day basis right like yesterday i think highlighted did make most sense because nobody was able to get a lot of collective bonuses and i could imagine other runs where it goes the other way around anyway that's it for yesterday let me know in the comments what you did for today and i'll see you tomorrow thanks for watching bye